is there any, you know, I don't want to carry on the conversation, but is there any place they can park behind the fence? What, our fence? Yeah. I talked to the chief about that, and we are getting some things cleared out, so we may have some spaces there. But I'll, again, we'll work through that. I don't want to take any spaces up that we might need. And so we have some overflow where there's some, some vacancies where it won't create a problem for any of our officers. I can absolutely. I just think that we're doing a disservice to those people over there yes. when you yes. got half of a community in one city and a half in another. So I'm just trying to keep it going, okay? Correct. The other thing was this email that we received about using the parking lot across from the library for... Here. Yeah, you can use it now. Right, instead. for the vehicles from the different um, offices. Test, one, two. Testing, one, two. You see me now. Hi, this is Steve Bissell with Converse Access Television. And see this great t-shirt? You get this now at the Blood Bank, which is in front of the Senior Citizen Center in Converse, Texas. And uh, the way you do that, you go and show up and tell them Steve sent you. And... Uh, you gotta hurry, because they'll be packing up here shortly. But get in and get some blood, get your free t-shirt, tell them Steve sent you. Also, Saturday is Mayor's Call at the Senior Citizen Center. And be sure and let uh, the mayor know that uh, you want to see more of the different council people on channel 21 Converse uh, government channel. Okay. Also, one thing they won't tell you at City Hall when you're paying your water bill, they won't tell you about the water restrictions. So ask the mayor about where do they post stuff about the water restrictions. I think we're on stage three, and a word from KPPC Radio, FM 96.9, you can listen to Joe Gunn talk about, I have decided to follow Jesus, historical background on the song, on KPPC Radio, FM 96.9, Keep People Praising Christ. And now back to our show. Council wants to give. Well, I understand that. Or, or if, you know, it's what? At least four police cars from different entities that are out there. Yeah. You know, just. I would hate to say you can't park there. No, I, I agree. Matter of fact, I had one of them move today. Uh, as I was coming over earlier, I saw him parking there and I said, hey, can you do me a favor and park against that wall over there? because uh, I know there was some vacant spaces mm -hmm. and he was like that's fine I don't have a problem with that and he said he would instruct his other folks because I think there's a couple of them that park there well is there any, you know I, I don't want to carry on the conversation but fine. is there any place they can park behind the fence what our fence yeah 
I talked to the chief about that and we are getting some things cleared out. So we may have some spaces there, but I'll, again, we'll work through that. I don't want to take any spaces up that we might need. And so if we have some overflow where there's some, some vacancies where it won't create a problem for any of our officers, I can absolutely do that. Yeah. Food for thought. I just got two things. Uh, first of all, um, on the city city staff reports from the last um, meeting, I just want to say thank you, Samantha, uh, how you pr presented it. I thought it was very nice. Instead of putting every uh, department down and everything, she just incorporated everything that was said. So I thought that was really nice. I, I liked. I like that format that she, she put on there, sir, which uh, Mr. Ronnie. What are you talking about?